afternoon again, ladies and gentlemen. Today I also have some celosia that I need to transplant. You notice that this container is a little different. It happens to be a wooden container made out of cedar. The reason I like this container is because it doesn't hold a lot of moisture because celosia doesn't like to have its feet wet. So this will allow water to go into it, but it also allows it to drain rather rapidly. I'm going to start off with some of the plants that I have here. I'm probably going to put three plants in here. I pretty much filled my pot with my cedar pot. And our celosia has already started to bloom. Looks pretty short. I think part of the reason for that is because it has become root bound in this pot. It didn't have enough room for its root to grow. So I'm going to try something a little different today. I think I'm going to pinch some blossoms and see if I can get it to grow up a little taller and have more blooms. It's a very pretty uh, flower on it. They call this the Royal Celosia. This first plant that I've taken out, you can see it's all root bound around the bottom of it. So I'm going to put it off to the side here to kind of create a hole to place that in, put it down in there, and then I'm going to push my soil, potting soil back in around it. This one's the same way. It's pretty root bound. I'm going to put another one in over here. Making a hole, setting it down in there, dropping it in, and pressing some soil around it. Here's another one. Again, it's root bound. Make a hole, place it down in my container, push some soil around it. I've got three in there now. Looks like maybe I could do probably at least one more. Here's another one. Rut bound. Place it down in there. Push some soil around it. So I've got uh, four in there now. I'm going to try one more. This one's not nearly as rip bound, a little younger. I'm going to put it over here. That makes five. Looks like I got room for a sixth one in here. Again, one that's really rut bound. Notice I kind of put them around the edges of the pot. Just going to double check and make sure that I've got them all pressed in there. And there you have it. A pot of celosia. I said I was going to pinch these and I'm probably going to do something a little different. What, about, what I have is a small set of pruning shears. I'm going to prune these flowers off and hopefully what it'll do is it'll cause it to branch out and uh, create more places for blossoms to occur. So I'm going to reach down in here. I'm going to trim the blossom off. This would be very similar to deadheading. Uh, flowers after the blossoms have died. It also changed it from this being the terminal bud 
and create auxiliary buds. When I'm done, I'm going to lock my tool up so it doesn't cut my pants pocket. And then I'm going to give these just kind of a gentle spray in here too. And as the summer goes along, the cedar will swell a little bit and close this up on the gap a little bit for the drainage. One thing I am going to do this summer in the center here is I'm going to put a little uh, spray nozzle in here that will be multi-directional. And it will be hooked up to an automatic water system and I'll give this probably about a half a gallon of water a day uh, to uh, keep this moist enough and keep these plants alive. Uh, what I have here is just a garden sprayer that's got some fertilizer mixed up in it. I'm going to put some fertilizer with these that are starting to look a little pale and if I give them a little bit of fertilizer I think that'll help them out. I'm just going to kind of spray it in around the plants here This is about half strength. So in other words, if you go to your um, local department store or your uh, Walmart, Home Depot, Menards, they have soluble fertilizers. This I got in a 50 pound bag. It's a 20-20-20, which means it's got 20% nitrogen, 20% phosphorus, 20% potassium. So these plants need the potassium to help grow. They also need the phosphorus to improve the stem strength of these plants. I'm trying to avoid not getting it on the leaves because I don't want it to burn the leaves. <laughs> 